In order to add icons to the tree view and the list view, we need to first add another uh, object or control to the uh, project or the form, which is the uh, image list. So I go over to the uh, component section of the toolbox and drag image list over to the fo form. And you'll see the image list appears in the component tray at the bottom of the the form. And if we click the uh, common task pop-up, we want to go over to choose images. This brings up the image collection editor. And what we want to do is add a series of icons that are appropriate for the movies we're looking at. And as luck would have it, I have a collection of icons just like that. So click Add, and then go up to the, uh, the directory you have the icons in. I set the view for this file to a uh, thumbnail so we can see the, what the icons will look like better. And the first movie is actually uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. But we don't want to add that as the first icon because the image list is very much oriented towards the ordinal position of the icons. Uh, it gives them an ordinal number. And we want that number to correspond to the primary key we've been using in the uh, movie's records. If you look at the movie record, the primary key is movie ID and the first movie is 1, the second movie is 2, and so on. Second movie being Brainstorm. But the first icon in the image list is actually going to be 0, and that's also going to be a default icon for uh, selected uh, items. Uh, so we don't want the 0 icon to correspond to the 1 primary key. So we're going to get a different icon for the zero icon. I thought the X-Men icon is sort of generic enough that it would be good. So click the open and you see that adds it to the zero position of the icon members. I'll press add and we'll get the one position which will be the uh, 2001 and then add again and we have brainstorm switch this view back to thumbnails here here's the icon for brainstorm so I press open again I'll go through and do the rest of these for the uh, I think seven movies we have in pause mode all right, now that we've added all eight of our icons, including our uh, default selected icon of X-Men, click OK to save them in the uh, image list. And then we can specify an image size. Might as well go with 16 by 16. If we make them larger, they might actually look a little cooler, but it's more standard to do 16 by 16 pixels. Probably the simplest way to set this up for uh, the tree view is to add another variable of type int and call it uh, icon selector. And initialize it to 1. And then within the uh, inner for each loop of our nested for each loops that set up the tree, we need three statements. First, uh, node child dot image index equals the icon selector, which initially will be one in the first iteration. And then node child dot selected image index is also equal to icon selector. And then once we've finished 
setting this for this node child which changes each time we go through the loop we want to increment the icon selector so the next time we go through the loop it'll be two then three then four and so on if we don't set the selected image index to be the same as the image index every time we select a movie it'll change to the default index which is our X-Man index as you remember the index zero before we go any further we need to do two things give our image list a more meaningful name so call that IML movies in good Hungarian notation and then after selecting our tree view go to image list and in the drop down menu select IML movies as the image list we're going to use and you'll notice that gives it the default image index of 0 which is our X-Men index our X-Men icon so when we run this we see that our uh, genres have our default uh, icon of the X-Men icon, icon 0 and then each of the movies 2001 has a nice 2001 icon see these a little better if they're expanded brainstorm has a brainstorm arc icon black hole the black hole icon and so on aliens and boys from Brazil and Lord of the Rings and uh, Harry Potter to put icons in our uh, list view we need to do something very similar at the point in the uh, after select uh, routine where we're writing out the uh, displayed image list record or list view record we set the tag to movie row and then we need to also set the image index to a routine from our uh, movie class uh, class we created for handling data the movie class dot get movie ID and then pass the movie row to that and also set the uh, state image index to that value and the uh, get movie ID within our movie class we're once again passed a data row which has the movie row and once again we use our uh, column name which we know because we've read in the schema and the XML uh, and once again we convert it to string but this time we need to convert it again from string to an integer so we use the convert dot two int 32 method and you notice the return type on the function is also an int then within our uh, our form with the uh, list view selected we need to set our small image list to IML movies and for the heck of it I'm also select setting the uh, large image list to IML movies uh, the large image list would happen if we switch the view from details view to large icon view but of course we're, we're never doing that in this specific application but just in case we might as well set it so when we run this and we select uh, 2001 we get the 2001 icon brainstorm we get the brainstorm icon Harry Potter we get the Harry I Potter icon and so on well this concludes the uh, CAC series I hope you enjoyed the lesson and remember to focus and learn a lot